Hey guys, welcome back. Let's see what's today's topic. Here are the clues for today's topic. Riding in an open car, riding in a high speed in your bicycle and sitting or walking in a fresh green park. Could you guess what's today's topic? Hmm. That's right. It's air. In air, today we are going to see about characteristics of air, importance of air for all living beings and uses of air. First, let's see characteristics of air. Air is all around us. All living beings breathe in and breathe out air continuously for their survival. We cannot see air, but we can feel it. Air has no color, taste or odor. Do you know something? Just like us and animals, air also has weight. Let's do a quick experiment to prove that air has weight. Take a unblown balloon and keep it on the weighing machine. At the same time, take a blown balloon and keep it on the other weighing machine. Now you'll see the blown balloon weighs more. So this proves that air has weight. Another one, to see that air occupies space. Take a blown balloon. Another one, to see that air occupies space. Take a blown balloon. Now you must be wondering, why is it in shape? It's in shape because the air inside the balloon has occupies space and gives the shape. Now, untie the balloon or pop it. Now you must be wondering, why is it not in shape? It's not in shape because the hair has come out of the, of the balloon and occupies the space of our outside. So this proves that air occupies space. Now let's see importance of air for all living beings. We are basically we as a human being need oxygen. At the same time, plants need carbon dioxide to make their own food. This exchange of the carbon dioxide and oxygen will be done by the air. Now let's see uses of air. When you stand under a tree, you will feel light fresh freshman over you. Do you know what's that? Yes, that's it. Moving air is called wind. Air will help to move a windmill. Do you know what's a windmill? Windmill is something that gives electricity, pump water and grind corn. Now let's do a quick summary to see, to revise what we have done, learned till now. Air has, we cannot see air but we can feel it. And has no color, taste, and odor. All living beings need air. Breathe in and breathe out air continuously for their survival. Air is all around us. Moving air is called wind. Let me see, say some few names of air. Wind. A cool and pleasant wind is called breeze. A strong and pleasant wind is called gale. A very strong wind and unpleasant wind is called strong. Thank you. Hope you like my presentation. Bye. See you next time.